biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial, no hate can keep me down No matter what my haters say I proudly rep both of my races today I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial and no hate Salam alaikum YouTube was cracking it yo angry biracial back with another one yo yo my wife sent me this video this morning right uh you know my wife is a again a divested black woman you know and so is a lot of her, her sisters and her family right and I also got lots of inboxes about this particular video right here so I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it and give my commentary as I do you know how I do it but shout out to everyone that inboxed me this video, I think the sister um, name is High Value Trash. She always sends me a, a lot of stuff. So thank you, sister, for this. And shout out to Miss Zangy Biracial. Peace. Weird. What's wrong with you? You don't want anybody to say anything complimenting-wise. Don't put it on. It's fucking weird. Yes. Wear a fucking bathrobe. Dumbass bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, don't look at me like that. Respect your place. You guys are women. Wow. He is threatening to unalive her and put her in his fucking trunk because she's a woman. And you know, she shouldn't wear certain things if she if she if she doesn't want a compliment. It's like what the fuck? This ain't Saudi Arabia. What the fuck you talking about? You know, these are the same fucking manosphere Kevin Samuels disciples, right? That, that, that think that a woman deserves to be great or she was asking for it because she wants to wear something sexy. I mean, the fuck is wrong with these fucking canes? A woman can wear whatever the fuck she wants, you know, and doesn't need your compliment, doesn't need your permission, you know what I mean? And what y'all don't fucking understand is a lot of these women don't wear this shit for you. They wear it because it makes them feel good. They wear because they want to feel sexy for themselves. You know, it's like, and the fact that this fucking wild king, this tragic fucking king, will go so far to get so upset that this woman didn't respond to your fucking compliment. That you want to threaten to put her, put her in, 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 in your fucking trunk and she end up on forensic files. That's a fucking threat to her life. The fuck is wrong with these dudes? He said, have some respect for men. You're not giving black women anything to respect. You know, how can they respect you? Mr. the shit you fucking do when you've been abusing, unaliving, destroying and abandoning your kids. You treat black women like shit. You say, have some respect for men. The fuck? No, get the fuck out. You don't deserve respect. You think I care about You think I care about this motherfucker? Stop playing. You want to talk about your own? Give me a compliment. You can't take it. Stay right here. Anybody on the phone? Like, yo, he's my brother. He my brother. He my brother. Get the fuck out of here. This is what you deal with in 2023. You know? My grandma was better than these bitches. And look at her, man. She looks exhausted. She looks tired. And she just and, and she looks frightened. She doesn't know what this fucking wild ass raging fucking Kang is gonna do. Just just walking back and forth so fucking mad that she did not respond to his fucking compliment. What world do you fucking live in? You know, and this is the legacy that Kevin Samuels left. The legacy of emboldening these men, giving these men the, all these false stats, and emboldening these men to publicly demand that, 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 that black women get on their fucking knees and bow and scrape to them. She didn't have to respond to your compliment. Who the fuck is you? And all these other dudes just standing around, allowing this fucking wild king Excuse me. You did disrespect this beautiful black woman like that. And all you men out here not saying shit and just letting him talk is crazy. So 
Facts. Facts. Bunch of fucking cowards. I mean, you, you don't got to fight the dude. If you're a punk like that, just say, hey, bro, watch your mouth when, when it comes to, to this system. The fuck's your problem? It, it, you, you didn't got to say anything. You can place yourself between him and her and stand there facing him. To, to us men, we recognize that as, as, as a threat. I'm going to place myself between him and her, and I ain't got to say shit. I'm going to look at you. You make the wrong move over here, and then we got to deal with something, right? So it's like, but nah, motherfuckers want to stand around, pull out their cameras, and watch it. Oh, it's a hot. They want to act like I'm being disrespectful. But when I get out of pocket, now I'm the problem. It's weird. It's weird. When you hear about something about news, it's like... Oh, well, well, that's why, because you treat motherfuckers like you stupid. Like, I go all here to be nice to you. That's how you act? So motherfuckers be nice? Fucking coward, man. Fucking coward. He's he's stepping all up and beating his chest and poking his chest out to talk shit to a woman. Talking shit to someone he knows he can beat. Talking shit to someone he knows can't challenge him physically. You know? Talking shit to someone that he knows is not, can't do anything back, but sit there and fucking take it. But, but look, you know, and he is lucky that she doesn't have a, a son like like, a, like Mrs. Hood, you know, that would drop your ass in a fucking heartbeat. You know what I mean? Let me continue on. No, don't point, don't point, don't point, don't point, don't point. So why are you yelling? All I said was nice. All so I said was Stop talking out. to him right now. Tell me what the fuck you do. The only one standing up for her so far is another woman. Is another woman. Why are these fucking cow men so fucking cowardly? Y'all want to come online and beat your chest? I'm an alpha this. I do this. That you stand around and allow this shit to happen. This is why the world doesn't respect you. This is why black women don't respect you. This is why you're the laughing stock of the fucking planet. Fucking black men. And don't come on my channel and tell me, oh, it's not all black men. Of course we know it. it's not all black men. But you let these fucking wild ass kings control your image. And this is the result. Yo, why are you stop, stop, talking? stop talking to him. I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm here. I'm not lying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nigga, I don't give a fuck when you put it on. That's what you huh? said. Yo, listen. About time another brother is stepping up. About fucking time. Shout out to that black man that's stepping up and trying to check this little fuck right here. Shout out to that brother. Now that's a man standing up. And you know, I talk a lot of shit about fucking Kangs, right? But this other brother, whether he's a Kang or not, he's stepping forward and saying, hey, you need to chill the fuck out. You're doing something. And you, and you see how that fucking Kang in the pink shirt or whatever fucking color shirt don't want the smoke with that other man. You know, he, he's not all, all, all loud and all huffy puffy like he was with her with that other man. He's a fucking punk. Look at her, man. She just looks so worn out over black men and over shit like this. And y'all wonder why black women want to divest. That they're divesting to save their fucking lives. The best thing is they're tired of y'all fuck shit. Yo, listen, man. Listen, listen. Nobody even, ain't, ain't, ain't nobody talking. Listen, what the fuck you talking about? I don't give a fuck. I didn't know it was a girl. What the fuck does it matter? Yo, listen, man. Why are you taking her word? Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? Yo, yo, you're on some bitches, nigga. Fuck out of here. And they're probably, they're probably gonna call that that black man right there a simp. They're probably gonna call him a simp for stepping up to protect his woman, for saying, hey, what the fuck you're doing is wrong. Chill the fuck out, right? You know? And it's like these fucking kings. Can't take rejection. They, they don't, they don't want to take correction. They don't want to take scolding. They, you know, accountability is like kryptonite to these fucking kings. They're the, they're the least accountable fuckers on the fucking planet. But again, 
Shout out to that black man right there. I have him all on the screen. To him right there. He's standing up when all the other men were being fucking cowards. You know, he's not doing much, but, he, but he's checking the man and he's taking uh, that energy from him, you know, so let it focus on him. So it's not focused on her. So I understand what he's doing. Shout out to him, man, for being a real fucking man. Look at you. Look at you. Dumbass bitch. He quiet and docile now. Now, now, now. now that the white man that they want to blame for everything has intervened. He's quiet and docile now. Quiet like a little fucking punk. Quiet as a fucking mouse. You ain't yelling now, is he? You ain't, ain't acting tough now, is he? Quiet as shit. Little ass fucking punk. Beating his chest around other black people. What's what I don't get? These canes got the most smoke for black women and, and, and any other black men that stand up for black women. That they're, they're unaliving each other at the fucking highest rates. They ain't got no smoke for, 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 for the white men they blame for all their fucking problems. You know, I mean, fucking uh, George Zimmerman is still for fucking walking around alive, profiting. A lot of other uh, these so-called uh, these white men who, who, who unalived black people are still walking around enjoying their fucking lives. Y'all got no smoke for that. Yet you will unalive your own person and your own people for stepping on, on, on your Nikes. <clears throat> you unalive a man that looks like you for standing up for the woman that you're abusing. But no smoke uh, for, 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 for the white man that you blame for everything in your life. Fucking cowards. He literally did this to himself. We asked him to walk away so many times. He followed us back up because the line was way back here. We walked past him and he came back up to continue going at us. So that man had a warrant out for his arrest anyway, right? And 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 that sister is way more patient because she, you know, I don't know why, but she didn't call the police on him, you know? She gave him so many chances. She just wanted to walk away. She didn't want to call the police, you know? Excuse me, which I don't understand why. Call the police on these fucking kings. But the thing is, a lot of these kings know that black women have a soft spot for them. A lot of these kings know that, that black women don't want to call the police because they don't want to feel bad if a police drops you like the fucking dog you are. You know, puts a cap in your ass, you know? So they don't call the police because they understand that a white cop having an encounter with, 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 with a wild fucking king could end very badly, you know? So, so these kings take advantage of, of, of the caring heart that a lot of black women have, of the forgiving heart that a lot of black women have. You can hear it in her voice, you know? He did this to himself. I gave him chance after chance, you know? It's, it, it's just sad. And the only reason he redirected his energy is when they came. But it was like walking behind us, getting more, getting himself more hype. <laughs> this ass going on TikTok. Oh, yeah, there's a white man. Facts. Keep exposing these canes. Keep putting the ass on TikTok. Keep putting the ass on blast. Because look, you all are doing the world a service. You, you guys are, are showing the world who these canes really are. You're dispelling all this bullshit that these canes talk. These canes want to say, oh, uh, black women don't respect us. Respect us, you know, because I, I have a penis. You know, they want to say this fucking shit. That they want to say all this horrible shit about black women. And the world doesn't see the other side. And now they're starting to see how these kings treat black women. Why, why black women are divesting. Why all this is going on. They're starting to see. So thank you for, for being brave enough to make this video. Thank you, sister. I'm sorry you, you endured that. But thank you for making this video and putting it out there. And, and, and so I can react to this shit. And expose these kings even further. Y'all be safe out there, man. It's hot as shit in my garage. Y'all lie. I need to get a fan out here.
Y'all be safe.